Now let's talk about whatever is happening now with reference to the election situations that are taking place all over the world. You know, in a democracy, every 10 minutes there's an election. And every time an election is coming up, you could just say hello and you could swear by your life that an election is taking place someplace. It's not a county executive. It's a, it's a group board. It's a country board. It's a high-level board. It's, it's somebody uh, it's, uh, taking care of the building, of the finest, of the furniture, of the toilets. There's somebody, somebody running for something. And you sometimes they're running for their lives. Sometimes they're running uh, about an issue, about a referendum. Like right now, Schwarzenegger is involved. I don't know if you know about it. And this whole business of bringing up about three or four referendums that he's taking to the public. So that uh, they, even though there's, it's not technically an election, it's a referendum, which they have very often in California, uh, many states don't have any such thing as a referendum. You see, you listen to this program, you'll learn something every minute. But there was a referendum taking place on four or five different issues. And, and one of the issues is that he is against the idea of unions being able to take the money out from its members without asking them for any political purpose they please or any candidate they please, without asking. Now, you are paying dues into a, into a union dues, supposedly for protection on your job or for the betterment of your wages or the betterment of your position as a worker in general. You're not paying to, because, uh, you know, to further the interests of any one political party. Maybe you're precisely against the particular party that they're involved with, what they're collecting for. Why shouldn't you have a choice about where your money goes? It's a simple democratic question, isn't it? In a democracy, you don't take money out of people's pockets and then decide what you think you should do with it. You wouldn't do that for your own mother. If your mother took money out of your pocket, wouldn't she feel obligated to tell you why she took it out? Or if she has a right to take it out, or for what purpose? And since it's your money, wouldn't you have the right to make a decision about it? Now, should a, a union be, be allowed to burglarize your funds? This is basically a burglary. <laughs> because you're forced to become a union member in most of the times in most cases. Because in most cases, there's a union shop, and you had no choice, so you became a member of the union. Otherwise, you couldn't get the job. So now you got a job, and you were forced to become a member of a union. They didn't come with a gun, but basically, it's the same thing. You want to work for a living or not? You do? OK. You're a member. All of a sudden, here's 3750, and, and who knows what this whole union is doing for you. You don't know, and if they do nothing for you, you're still a member. Now, on top of doing nothing for you, very often, they have a right to take out your money without asking you for a political operative of their choice. This could be a guy you hate, who just tried to shoot your mother last Thursday. You still have to pay for his campaign. This guy might want to raise your taxes. Maybe it's already paying out of control, and he wants to pay, make you pay 10 times as much. If the union thinks so. They have a right to take your money without asking you. Is this fair? There's nobody on earth that would say it's fair. But you have no choice. So they could basically burglarize your money without your permission. Now, you would think that it's so simple and obvious that only an idiot could disagree with it. If I said to you, I have a right to put my money in your pocket whatever I want and take your, your money for whatever I please, wouldn't you say the man is nuts? These people belong in jail. Or they, they, should, they should either be arrested or hung or shot. Something should be done to them for doing it. Instead, the union spends twice as much money as Schwarzenegger all over California, and they're ahead of him in the polls on this issue. Most of the people agree with the union. That's how stupid the people of California are. I don't want to talk about people. It's not my nature. But how stupid could you be to agree with that? that you should have no choice of what happens to your own money. They call it, this is not membership dues, this is burglary. And this is not a union to protect you, this is a union to bury you, to steal your money without your permission. This is a burglary union. Now let's go to the forefathers of our Constitution. This is another issue I want to talk about. I, you know, it's very considered unholy and dis uh, disgusting to criticize the forefathers of our country. But we, they wrote things into the Constitution of this country, into the basic structure of our governmental system, that I, who, despite the fact that some sick yenta says I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I've been right on every subject, and nobody's proven me wrong in all the months that I've been here. And you know why they couldn't prove me wrong? Because I'm always right. I don't talk that way, but that happens to be a fact. Now, what do you think happens? In this governmental structure, we have a two-party system. You know what that means? The forefathers created a paralyzed form of government. It's literally a paralytic form of government because it's the self-interest of every party member in the opposition who is now in Congress and might even have a majority in Congress to bury every kind of legislation that might do any good for the country. Because if the, if the president is effective and gets things done that are actually good for you, the people in Congress and they're from the opposition party lose their case. So when the next election comes up, they're wiped out. 
So that there's a built-in conflict of interest in this whole situation. Now I have a choice. Do I want to vote for something that will help the president get elected, which because because it's good for the country, or would I rather bury the country and make sure that I get elected so I could keep my job? Who wants to live without a job when they, when when that's their choice? In other words, if you have a, a, a question in front of you, is this good for the country or is this good for your job? You'll lose your job, but you'll keep your country. You can't make a living from a country. You have to have make a living from a job. You lost your job. What good is a country without a job? So you're going to say to yourself, Chabas and I can always go to another country. <laughs> I can always go to another country. Where am I going to go for a job? This is the only job I got. I'm a congressman. I don't want to work for a living. <laughs> If, God forbid, I lose this job, where am I going to go? How many people do you, how often do you get a job where you sit like a dummy, do nothing for a living, collect checks every week, and just, and only show up when it's time to make a speech? Then you tell everybody, I spoke again, here's a few dollars, keep walking. This is the job. This is the job. <laughs> do you think they want to lose this? Do you think they want to have the country saved but their children starving? No, I got no job, but my children need shoes, they need shirts, they need pants, they need clothes. So I have children sitting around in the nude without clothes. <laughs> I, was just thrown, I was just thrown out of my building because I couldn't afford the rent. So I'm sitting at a homeless shelter in the, in the Bronx without clothes, without children, without shoes, without shirts, but I got a country. Is this what I want to be left with? Then I say to myself, to hell with it. I'll bury the country and I'll keep the job. And now you might say, most people are not that low. I got news for you. Most people are that low. And it's not even low. A people has a right to make a living. But I don't want to go into it. I don't want to say the forefathers were stupid, but in this case, they were. <laughs> we're going to have a break now and we're going to go further. Can't get enough Jackie? Log on to JackieMason.com. Check out his CDs, audio cassettes, DVDs, books, and free downloads of Jackie for your computer wallpaper.